One day, I hosted a giveaway on Twitter featuring S2G thumbnails, and it seemed like a lot of you really enjoyed that style. Even Sid reached out to say he liked them. So in today's episode, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of creating thumbnails inspired by S2G, and as always, you can find the PSD link in the description, so feel free to grab it. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. To start, we'll need some high quality player renders to work with. I found a great website called Footy Renders that lets you download high quality images of any player you want, completely free, with the background already removed. Just search for your player and download the render. It's as easy as that. Once that's set up, I'll create a Photoshop document with the standard dimensions and upload this photo of Mbappe I found on the website. I'll start with a gentle color correction using the camera raw filter, followed by some skin retouching to refine the look. I've actually done a full tutorial on the skin retouching process I use in my thumbnails, so feel free to check that out once you're done with this video. Once that's complete, I'll upload the render of Bellingham and follow the same process, softening the skin and then adding curved layers to make the face stand out. I noticed that Mbappe's face looked a bit off and desaturated here, so I added another camera raw filter to fix it. The next step will be to add this sky gradient to bring in some colour. Next I'll add this money asset I found online and duplicate it in a few spots to fill up the space. Next I'll start adding this EAFC UI element they use for team selection. Then I'll add the EAFC logo, change the box colour to this shade of green and update the logo colour to black. I'll also add a drop shadow to make everything pop and stand out from the background. After that I'll add this cloud overlay and set the blending mode to screen to bring more detail into the background. Before we get into the next step, let me introduce you to a design tool that's been a game changer for me lately, Kittle. I've always been on the lookout for tools that simplify my workflow, especially when it comes to creating designs for clients. That's where Kittle comes in. It's a design platform that makes it super easy to create professional looking graphics without needing any advanced design skills. Whether you're working on logos, posters, social media content, or even merchandise designs, Kittle has a solution for all of it. What I love most about Kittle is how user-friendly it is. The drag and drop interface means you can quickly customize templates, change fonts, colors, and add your own images, all without the need for complex software like Illustrator or Photoshop. Let me walk you through a simple tutorial on how you can use Kittle to create a YouTube thumbnail in just a few minutes. First, you'll find a link in the video description that will take you to Kittle. Click on that to get started. Once you're on the platform, you'll see a ton of design assets like logos, t-shirt designs, and thumbnails, all ready to be customized. For this example, we'll search for YouTube thumbnails. You'll see a range of different styles, whether it's for gaming, education, or any other category. Once you've found a design that catches your eye, simply click on it. From there, you can easily edit the text, swap out images, adjust the fonts, and tweak the colors until it fits your style. You can even create something from scratch if you prefer a more personal touch, all without needing to download extra software. If you're interested in unlocking even more features, Kittle also offers a paid plan. And as a bonus, you can use my code BADISYT to get 25% off any plan. This gives you unlimited access to all of their graphic assets. All right, now that we've covered the basics, let's finish up this thumbnail design and get it ready to use. I'll drag and drop the Real Madrid logo here and center it. Then I'll add these arrows in this style I'll also make sure to add some money in the foreground to give the thumbnail a bit more depth. I noticed that the thumbnail doesn't look very realistic and feels a bit off, so I'll use the brush tool with a low flow to start blending everything together with some shadows. I noticed that the composition isn't quite right, so I'll reposition the elements and get back to you. Once that's done, I'll add this nice overlay for some extra detail. Then, I'll add some inner glow to both Mbappe and Bellingham to make the thumbnail look more epic and cohesive. Once everything's in place, I'll apply a camera raw filter. It's nothing special, just adding some texture, grain and clarity while tweaking the colours, especially on the faces. And then, we'll have our thumbnail ready. A great addition would be some text right here. I used a font called Druk and started to mimic the style Sid uses in his videos, applying a golden gradient 
a drop shadow and a softer drop shadow. I also added some inner glow and a light black stroke. And finally, I'll finish up by blending the text into the thumbnail. And that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to grab your PSD file from the description below. And if you're interested in learning how to create this thumbnail, be sure to check out this video.